we'll be using a tree diagram here. And the hint that we know we need to use a tree diagram is the part that says until something something happens. That's what I call the soft condition. When you have a soft condition, you should always use a tree. The outcomes of a draw of a bill from the pocket is going to be 1, 5, or 10. So that will be our outcomes here. And again, you would not do three branches for one because that's just one outcome. Those three will be the same outcome. We're going to stop if we draw a 10 because the bill is 7. 10 is greater than 7. For 1 and 5, we're going to keep going. Again, 1, 5, 10. And for 5 and 10, you, you need to be careful that you only have one $5 bill. After you draw the $5 bill, you won't have it anymore. So you can only draw 1 and 10. Here you have three ones, so if you, after you get rid of a 1, you still have 1s to draw. So Here you have 15, so you stop. Here on this outcome, you have 11, so you stop here. Here you have 6, you keep going. 2, you keep going. Here you have 6, you also keep going. Again, you drew the 5 here already, you can't draw that again. And that leaves again 1 and 10. This is going to stop both of these plays. That comes out to 7, that comes out to 16. Here you can draw another. 1, another 5, or another 10. 10 is going to stop. 5 is going to stop. So this is 7, 7 stops. This is 12, it stops. Here, 1, 5. Again, you already drew the 5. So you only have 1 and 10 left. And both of these are going to stop. Finally, here you already drew three, all three of your 1s. You're left with the 5 or 10 and they will both stop. And now you just simply count all the places it stops, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, comes out to 11 possible outcomes.